Hi and welcome to this session. I'm Niklas and today I want to talk about iInspect. I've heard many, many users only use it for the assignment of measuring principles and checks. But it has more to offer. So you can also use it for toggling of visibilities and the creation sequence between different elements in your project. Let's have a look. Okay. I've prepared a little project where I have a CID and a simple dimension. Let's assume you want to see which basic geometries are used to construct this dimension. Therefore, you can select it and then in the Explorer you can search for corresponding nominal elements. An easy way is to click on Depends On. Then you can also click with the shortcut on Shift and Plus to open the complete element tree here. I open this here a little bit more and now you can enable and toggle the visibilities of the geometries. Let's do this for the points, for the plane and for the cylinder here. So in this case a plane and the intersection points of this plane and the cylinders are used for the creation of this dimension. If you imagine you have many many dimensions in your project, of course the explorer gets more and more maybe a little bit crowded. Um, if you don't want to search in this way, you can also do it in a different way. Therefore, I go back to the start view and show you another way of finding the corresponding elements. Let's close the explorer for this. Now I select again the dimension and then with control right mouse button I open the eye inspect. The eye inspect can in the middle be used when you click on edit. Here you find the creation sequence. The creation sequence also allows you here on the right hand side to toggle visibilities too. So in this case it's all related to this dimension. So here I can also toggle the visibility for the nominal points. I go over here for the cylinders and for the plane. So you have the same result with a few mouse clicks without the effort to search in the explorer for the corresponding elements. Let's have a look at another example. I click on the CID and then with the shortcut E, I have it exclusively, and I will construct a new geometry. Construct plane fitting plane. Control left mouse button for this nominal plane, control 2 for creation and closing of the dialog. Now I can Applies a measuring principle, reference construction, and afterwards, maybe I'm curious how exactly the selection for the actual plane is done in our software. Also, there I can use the eye inspect. So I click here on edit, then I can disable the visibility of the cut as example, and then click here on reference construction. The software toggles the visibility for our mesh then shows also the actual plane and the selection which is used for the creation of this actual plane. Here, of course, you can also, while this dialog is open, make changes to this selection. You could decrease, as example, by a value, 2.2 millimeters in this case, and see the preview of your selection and the actual element. I click OK and afterwards I'm back at the view I had before I toggled the visibilities here. So I go back to the CID and to my plane. I hope you can integrate it in your daily workflow. We will see us in the next episode and until then you will find many many interesting e-learnings and courses directly here in the GOM Training Center. Bye!